Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and today I wanted to share how I made this basic cake topper in the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. Keep in mind that this is just a basic tutorial. You can start adding things and making it even more complex for your needs. I started out with a textile called PN Pixel Craft and then I increased that font size so when it opens on my design mat it is going to be larger than default. Then I used the corner bounding boxes and a friend of mine in the party business told me their cake toppers average about seven to seven and a half inches for a normal size cake. So you don't wanna go above that typically. And then I grabbed some strawberries that my daughter wanted to have on this cake topper and added those into the design. I just sized them and selected everything that I'm going to come down and build contours. I chose editable contour. I'm gonna change the color of that contour and increase the offset amount. So this is going to be the backing for my cake topper. Once I had that as I liked it, I was adjusting it there a little bit there. I'm gonna show you how I can take some of the design a little bit farther in the adjustments. So I didn't want that little section within the five. So I'm going to come in here and I changed that to a different color that I would be cutting it out of. Was just playing around with some design parts of it. Then selected my background, the, the off offset, and click, double clicked on it, brought up the point edits, and I'm just going to double click and delete those edit points. And I can adjust the outside shape of that design. So I was just continuing to delete those edit points to give it a little bit smoother look. And then I didn't need to make my offset any larger in order to fill that space in there. You could also take a skinny rectangle and weld it into the offset as well. That would have worked too. Next, I'm going to get ready to send my design. I zoomed out at 100% and then the background was selected. When I clicked send, I could tell that not all of the pieces were gonna show up, so I had to deselect the design. Then I click send and I have each of my colors that is ready to go. So green, red, another red style, the 15, and then below that I have the background. So I'm going to load my mat. In this case, I loaded several colors onto my mat and I was easily able to quickly cut out each color. The way I did it, which can be done multiple ways, is I set the blade up to cut the green in the bottom left corner, chose advanced to end of cut, and then clicked okay. That is in the version of software I am using, which is currently still in beta, but will be released sometime soon. I came back, chose the next color. After I had set that blade origin, I chose advance again, so it's going to go to the end of the cut, and then I simply just had to move my blade up to the next location. Choose the next color, and I had three colors easily cut out very quickly for this design. Then I could remove all of those from my cutting mat and get to cutting the next pieces. So I loaded the white cardstock for the 15 onto my mat, chose 15 in the software, sent that to cut, and it made very quick work to put this all together. Then I came back to the software, chose the background. I actually selected return to starting position on this one because I'm actually going to do a couple things here. So first I'm going to cut this out of the pink cardstock. It's going to cut the entire backing out and that's going to serve as my colored portion of the cake topper. I unloaded that and then I loaded I cut two sheets of the pink cardstock to layer together, and then I wanted a little bit thicker backing, so I am cutting a chipboard. Now this is a chipboard that is probably from a packaging, like a cardstock packaging. It is a thicker chipboard, but I, I have done this before. I would, knew it was going to cut, but the process is how many times it takes to cut. So as I did this, I kept just hitting repeat job. I will put a link in the description below for that repeat job. And and I did have to increase my blade depth as well as my force as I went along. After you cut something like chipboard, you can see as it's rolling through my machine, you can see those fibers from that chipboard on the uh, material there. Those fibers get inside of that blade and I ended up having to take my blade apart. I'll put a link in the description below for that to clean my blade out from all of those fibers that got inside the barrel of the blade 
That also will prevent you from getting good clean cuts on your next material. Now you can see here, I did several passes. This is pretty thick car, uh, chipboard and all chipboard is going to vary in what it needs. And when you get into the thicker materials, everything is going to vary. Your cut, your blade settings, your blade depth, the color of your material can affect how it cuts the sharpness of your blade obviously i still had to kind of pop that out and then i just cleaned it up with an, a pair of scissors and then you see all those fibers all those fibers chipboard is just compressed pieces of paper glued together so it's all just fibers and pieces of you know materials that are stuck glued together I have all my pieces ready to go. I used a, it is a non-toxic glue, but this cake topper is not even going to touch the cake whatsoever. Again, I'm not selling this. This is for my family. Um, I just added glue onto this and started piecing the parts together. Now, I was getting a little impatient with myself, rushing a little bit too much and um, added a little bit too much glue. There's all kinds of adhesives that you can use for gluing parts together, but keep in mind when you have your paper, I should have just stuck with this precision tip. It was working just fine. I switched to the larger bottle so I could do this faster and it ended up the moisture from the glue kind of made some of it bubble in the end, but it turned out great. She was happy. She actually ripped it off of the sticks right after I took the photo. Um, it, it wasn't even on the cake for 30 seconds. She just wanted to have the topper, let me have a photo. And then she took and ripped it off the sticks and put it in her room. So it, it did its purpose and it turned out just fine. So if you use a liquid glue, it can warp a little bit. I added all of that together and here's a look at the finished project. I just used scotch tape for those sticks bamboo skewers on the back, which is great since she ripped it apart anyhow. And here's a look at it on the cake. It did not last very long. I hope those tips have helped and given you some ideas on how you can design in Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.